Hey, it's Steve Barcello, Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Uh, it's day two down at Medoc Mountain State Park. Unfortunately, last night I didn't get a chance to spend the night at the uh, camp. I got called out for something else. Uh, some of the campers in the area who were not even into looking for uh, cryptics said they had some odd noises. Now, I did bait with the cameras facing this way back this way with apples in the back on the trail and that's the video from yesterday i brought some more today i'm going to gift again uh it's brought some people out george is out on one of the trails he's been out there for probably a good hour and a half uh with thermal scope and listening and stuff uh, i know clint is out here somewhere he our phones don't work for zip here so i just texted him back saying that i'm at campsite uh a few other folks are here. I haven't seen them yet. At least they're supposed to be. One of the guys that's a regular comes out. He travels with his wife. And he's a serious Bigfooter. Travels the country. Uh, well, I was at back at the house, the museum. I had to deal with uh, some town stuff. And I had a guy coming for the door. And a few people came to see the museum. And since I was there, I just let him in, even though we're closed today. And... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, we had Peter come by, you know, the dog rescue of a dog, and a couple of dogs that are getting fixed. And because everyone's overwhelmed with rescues, uh, they'll, we'll get them back, then we'll home those ourselves. And sometimes they're quick, sometimes it's slow. But this one uh, pounds a, a baby. She's a sweetheart, about 30 pounds. I think she'll be pretty easy to get a home. <clears throat> As you can hear, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. Uh, anyway, this gentleman stopped by. I literally, when Peter was in, I told him I'd be right with you. And I, he came around the front, I brought him in, and he was in the park earlier. And the first thing I thought is he saw my video from yesterday, hence why he came down to the park, but he didn't even know I posted a video. So, uh, and he said he came through the campsites because he knows we're down here fairly often. I didn't see anybody. Uh, he was on, which I guess is Streamloop. I don't know, I get confused. They change all the names here. Basically, it's one of the trails right back here. Actually, it's the same trail that I baited yesterday that comes out here goes down so I guess it's called camp loop now campsite loop uh, well he was down there with his wife and uh, they had his dog just passed away one of his dogs so he was telling me about that too but he has one of his little dogs that left an older dog and uh, something didn't feel right the dog freaked out normally just walking ahead on a leash and also the dog was uh, sniffing around and went up to mom and he said he could clearly hear bipedal footsteps out in the woods enough to where he unholstered his weapon just because he, he felt uncomfortable. Uh, didn't see anything, but that's what he heard. Now we've had all this activity here. I had uh, another gentleman come through this past weekend who's a regular coming down. He likes to play the Indian flute. And uh, I'm just kind of like leaving out names out of politeness. Uh, he was down here previous week. He had rocks thrown at him. That same road going down the service road where it turns on to, I should have the map open now, uh, Summit Loop. And uh, he had rocks he believes were being thrown from across the river. Uh, it's just been nonstop. And then, of course, George had rocks thrown at him like a month ago. And that's at a slightly different location, but just farther up the river. So this whole area has just been super active. <clears throat> I brought some more apples. I'm going to, like I said, do a little bit more baiting. And as you can see, I've got all kinds of equipment here, all the... Uh, flare scopes. Uh, we've got game cameras up. Not that we have a hell of a lot of luck with them. Oh, don't worry, I'm hurting. I'm really hurting, guys. But uh, parabolic dishes and stuff. So we're gonna get whatever we can when we're out here. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably around, probably around four o'clock, thereabouts, four thirty. So it's uh, pretty quiet. I've got like one toad or something in front of me. You hear some birds in the distance, but otherwise it's pretty damn quiet here. And it was kind of like this last night. Very still. Uh, a little more buggy than I appreciate, but uh, I've got an army of bug spray I've soaked myself down with. Sure as hell don't want any more ticks. Uh, I've got a lot of equipment. I just spent like a, an hour trying to clean up my truck. I haven't cleaned that in months. I'm, at least I'm finding stuff I, I misplaced. and I just got to get everything organized to know where things are. Because that's the problem, you can't find things. And you put more junk in the vehicle and then more junk. And now i got to get the other vehicle cleaned out so I can drop that off for service. But uh, as you can see, I did not even set up a tent here. Because my intent, my, my intent, my uh, intent is not to spend the night here and not to sleep here anyway. 
just to investigate and go back. And I'm hoping I can make it a little bit longer tonight. Like I said, I'm definitely not feeling well. But uh, I'm the only one back here, back here at the uh, campsite. Uh, there's not many campers in. Now, today is Thursday. So I'm expecting people to start rolling in tomorrow. And I didn't even bother to get it for another night. Unless the guys really want to do it, I'm not going to do it. I'll go back. i got to run a museum. Uh, but I've been dying to get out here and just do some investigating. And it's just, uh, here, I'm just cleaned out my truck and I'm exhausted. <laughs> this tick bite's kicking my butt. But uh, I've got all kinds of food I can't cook because I didn't bring a stove. I'm just a mess. Uh, I'm not planning on eating. I had something earlier. I'm really not eating much anyway. But I do have a, uh, like half a case of warm water. So at least I've got water to drink. Brought a cooler. Didn't bother to put ice in it. I mean, I wasn't planning to spend much time here. I'm kind of winging it because I have been so under the weather. I drive someplace. By the time I get somewhere, I go, I'm exhausted. Turn around go back home. I mean, this has been a rough couple of months. Uh, but I'm happy at least be down here. Uh, I've got my equipment. I'm going to pack up some of this, pick out what I want to carry. I'm planning on doing the bulk of my investigating right here from campsite. I've baited everything into the site, which I'm sure the people that are camping around me would be all thrilled to know that I'm inviting something back into the area. But uh, I want to see what we get. Hopefully, uh, we've had a lot of people chasing and being more aggressive, which I hate. It just drives me nuts. So uh, hopefully we can, uh, by doing this baiting day after day, and I'm going to go out, like I said, put out some more apples. And hopefully I get some kind of response, some kind of positive uh, activity. So that's pretty much it right now. I just wanted to do uh, another video saying that I'm back out here. Uh, I did sit here for hours last night as it started to get dark, getting ready to go out and do a little investigating or at least set up some equipment. So no, I, it was kind of eerie, but I got nothing. Nothing crazy happened. But like I said, I ended up dealing with phone calls and and. and horrendously poor phone calls where you have someone calls you, you're trying to pick it up, you're trying to call them back. I mean, it's hard to even text out of here, let alone once in a while the phone just works. Other times it just doesn't at all. And my wife was getting frustrated. I'm trying to reach out to her, tell her what was going on with this dog in the neighborhood. And she couldn't, you know, she kept saying, why are you hanging up on me? I'm not hanging up. It's not going through. You know, I'm calling you up and hanging. It's like, anyway, but, uh, that's where I'm at right now. I'll probably text George a little bit, see if he's getting any activity where he's at. Now, you can see I'm trying not to give out all the locations. Uh, we're not trying to be super secret or anything like that. I mean, the park's only so big. You, most of you have been down here with us, kind of know the hot spots. You know, pretty much anywhere near the water, you know. It's kind of not rocket science. But we just, while we're doing investigations, getting a lot of activity over the course of a week or two, we just don't want a lot of folks coming through and just screwing it up for us. If we're getting activity and have people coming in, literally, you know, chasing and being aggressive and throwing things and just, you know, trying to, you know, be goofballs, it's just going to chase away what we're getting. We're working months and months to be able to document and photograph and videotape these things. So the activity has been good. I've seen this monster spider crawling across the ground here. Uh, it's a little buggy, not terrible. It's starting to cool off a little bit now. Either that is just because I'm sitting here and I'm not, not cleaning out the truck. My vehicle is a mess. I got to get that finished cleaning it. I got about 75, 80% of it cleaned up. Some of the big stuff. Now I got to really dig out on the floorboards and vacuum and I'll get there. But uh, that's it. Short little video, probably longer than it should be. I'll get back and uh, shoot another little video later once I get some investigating going. I'll talk to you soon.